What's going on, guys? It's Brad here from GigaPress, and today we are talking about WordPress and high levels of traffic. If you're expecting your website to drive significant traffic, you need to be sure it won't slow to a crawl when visitors start pouring in. And if you've ever encountered a slow WordPress site, as many of us have, you're probably wondering, can WordPress handle heavy traffic? So to give you a straightforward answer right up front, yes, WordPress can handle heavy traffic. WordPress itself has no limits whatsoever in terms of the amount of traffic it can support. However, other factors like your choice of web hosting and on-site performance optimizations, these things can make or break your site's ability to withstand heavy traffic. WordPress powers more than a third of all sites on the web, so it's not hard to find high traffic examples. Blogs like TechCrunch and Mashable, publications like Vogue and Variety, companies like Mercedes-Benz and Microsoft, even celebrities like Katy Perry and Usain Bolt. All of these sites are powered by WordPress. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most important considerations for using WordPress on a popular website and what you can do to ensure your site is ready to handle heavy traffic. So our first recommendation is to choose the right web hosting for a high traffic site. Your website is only as fast as the server it lives on. Without the right web host, nothing else you do will truly prepare your site for heavy traffic. With that in mind, how do you choose a web host that can handle those high levels of traffic? Well, first you need to be aware of the different types of hosting that are out there. You're going to find shared hosting, managed WordPress hosting, virtual private servers, dedicated servers, and cloud hosting. So let's take a look at each one of these uh, and just talk about what it is very briefly. Shared hosting is a great low-cost starting point for new websites, but it generally won't offer the performance you need for a high-traffic site. Managed WordPress hosting is not always inherently different from shared hosting at the server level, but it offers a number of WordPress-specific features and optimizations that can help you support higher levels of traffic. These plans are usually rated for an estimated level of monthly traffic, so it's easy to see which package you need. Then we have VPS, or Virtual Private Servers. These offer dedicated server resources without the expense of owning an entire server. These plans can usually support substantially more traffic than shared plans, but they do come with strict resource limits. You only have the resources that are allotted to your account. Dedicated server packages allow you to essentially rent an entire server that you manage exclusively. With the right specs, a dedicated server can definitely offer solid performance for a high traffic site, but you're still bound by the physical limitations of the server itself. And finally, cloud hosting uses distributed resources across multiple servers and multiple locations to deliver unparalleled performance and scalability. If you need to keep a high traffic site running at peak performance through even the biggest traffic spikes, cloud hosting is a great option. Here's an easy cheat sheet showing which types of hosting are suitable for heavy traffic. Now, if you're looking for specific recommendations for a web host that'll support a high traffic WordPress site, I'm going to give you three great options depending on your current level of traffic and what you actually need. Links to all of these will be in the description below. If you use one of those links, you'll get the best available price and it'll help to support this channel. So if you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you could use one of those links when you go to sign up. Now, our first recommendation is for websites with traffic anywhere from 25,000 to 100,000 visits per month. For this level of traffic, you're going to be very happy with SiteGround, specifically their GoGeek plan. I'm a big fan of SiteGround in general, I use it myself, and it has all the performance features you need for a high traffic site. GoGeek is what SiteGround calls a semi-dedicated plan. It includes their WordPress super cacher, free site migrations, on-demand backups, staging, high priority support, PCI compliant servers, free SSL, and Git. It also includes all the performance features that SiteGround is known for. We're talking about SSD drives, Nginx servers, the latest version of PHP, Cloudflare integration, HTTP2, all things we're looking for in a high-performance host, so your site is not going to crash when you have a spike in traffic. 
And in terms of pricing, again, be sure to use that link in the description so you can sign up for $15 a month instead of $40 a month. If your site is getting serious traffic beyond 100,000 monthly visitors, I would suggest looking into Kinsta, which offers managed WordPress hosting plans that are scalable up to 3 million monthly visitors, or even higher with a custom plan. Kinsta provides free migrations, free SSL, daily backups, 24-7 support, staging, Nginx servers, the latest version of PHP, HTTP2, WordPress caching, and a free CDN with every plan. Now, one potential drawback of Kinsta is that it only supports WordPress, so if you need to host other applications, you won't be able to do it there. But if WordPress is all you need, I'd say Kinsta is the definitive solution for high-traffic sites. And by the way, Kinsta does have plans for lower levels of traffic as well, but SiteGround works out to be a much better value if you're seeing less than 100,000 monthly visits. Again, check the link in the description to see all of Kinsta's hosting plans, and notice you can actually get two months free if you opt to pay yearly rather than month to month. If you need to host any non-WordPress applications with high levels of traffic, I'd recommend looking into a cloud hosting solution. SiteGround has a great cloud platform that's definitely worth checking out, but I would also look into Cloudways and weigh your options depending on your budget and how much performance your site actually needs. So to sort of summarize everything I just said, if your site gets less than 100,000 visits per month, go with SiteGround's GoGeek plan. If your site gets more than 100,000 visits and you only need to use WordPress, go with Kinsta. And if your site gets more than 100,000 visits and you need support for WordPress and other types of applications, check out SiteGround's cloud platform or Cloudways. Links, again, in the description below. Once you've got your hosting figured out, it's very important that you choose an appropriate theme to support high levels of traffic. Your WordPress theme is the backbone of your site. It determines not only what your site looks like, but how it performs. Some themes look beautiful on the surface, but under the hood, they're a chaotic, poorly coded mess that's slowing down your site with every single page load. Often, this is the reason WordPress is perceived as a slow platform. It's not that WordPress itself is slow. It's that many site owners use slow themes that weigh down their sites with unnecessary features and bloat. All of your theme's special features add code to your site that executes on every page load, even if you're not using them. So when it comes to WordPress themes, less is more. This is especially true when you're dealing with heavy traffic. Find a theme that looks good and does what you need without all the bells and whistles. You can always add extra functionality with plugins if you need to. A couple of my favorite lightweight WordPress themes are Generate Press and Astra. Both of these are built for performance, and they're actually incredibly versatile. They play really well with Gutenberg, as well as all the popular page builder plugins, and they each have a library of starter sites that you can import with a single click. I'll link both of those below, but regardless of what theme you use, just be sure it's not adding a ton of extra code that's going to slow down your site at higher levels of traffic. My next recommendation is to use a caching plugin. WordPress content is dynamic. Every time someone lands on your site, WordPress has to query the database for the required data, compile it together, and build your page on the fly before the user can see it. Even on high-performance hardware, this process can be quite intensive, especially when many thousands of people are loading your site every day. You can speed things up significantly with a caching plugin. A caching plugin creates a static HTML copy of your pages and serves that to your users instead of querying the database and rebuilding your pages on every single visit. Every WordPress site should have a caching solution, but it's particularly important for high traffic sites. My caching plugin of choice is WP Rocket, which is actually an all-in-one solution for performance optimization. WP Rocket handles caching, gzip compression, database optimization, lazy loading, minification, Google font optimization, and a lot more, actually. Uh, which is pretty crazy because I previously had to use like half a dozen separate plugins for this stuff, and now I just use the one. It's also dead simple to set up, which is a huge plus. Link in the description if you want to give it a shot. 
Now, a side note here, both SiteGround and Kinsta offer their own built-in caching solutions. So you don't have to worry about installing or configuring extra plugins if you don't want to. But if you really want to go the extra mile, WP Rocket is compatible with SiteGround and Kinsta, and it'll work in conjunction with their solutions to give your site a little bit of an extra boost. The next thing you'll want to do is optimize your images. Images, of course, are an important part of any website, but they can also destroy your site's performance if they're not properly optimized. Every time someone visits a page on your site, their browser has to download all the images on that page from your server. If your image files are massive, your pages are going to take longer to load, and every visitor will cost you substantially more server resources. Multiply that by tens of thousands of visitors per day, and you've got a problem. Luckily, it's easy to optimize your images and reduce file sizes without sacrificing quality. I use a plugin called Imagify, which automatically optimizes my images by resizing and compressing them on the fly as I upload them. Imagify has three levels of compression, normal, aggressive, and ultra. Now on Gigapress, we use the aggressive setting, and I literally can't perceive a difference in image quality. Despite that, it has reduced the size of our images by 75%, which to me is an unbelievable difference. If you know what you're doing, you can certainly optimize your images manually, but I'd rather save my time and just let it happen automatically. Another great way to optimize your WordPress site for heavy traffic is by using a content delivery network, also known as a CDN. A CDN stores static copies of your site's files on many different servers around the globe. Then when someone visits your site, they are served those static files from whatever server is geographically nearest to them. This can reduce the burden of heavy traffic on your server by offloading most of the work to your CDN. Two of the most popular CDN services are StackPath and Cloudflare. The basic version of Cloudflare is actually completely free, and it offers a full suite of features to improve not only your site's performance, but also its security. High traffic sites run a particularly high risk of distributed denial of service attacks, which Cloudflare can help to mitigate. So I hope these tips have been helpful. WordPress can absolutely handle heavy traffic, and in fact, many of the world's most popular websites are powered by WordPress and have no problem supporting millions of visitors. If you choose the right hosting solution and implement the other steps outlined in this video, you should have no problem scaling your site to any level of traffic. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and if you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you'd hit that like button and subscribe for more WordPress content.